Now then, let's get to know image layers in relation to the Docker file. Again, we're starting from a clean system that's only got the Ubuntu 15.04 base image locally. And let's do this too. Right, this is telling us that we've got five images locally. That's five layers, right? Great stuff. And we've got our Docker file here in the plural site directory. But let's take a look at it this time. Alright, we've got a comment line at the top. Then, as always, we've got our from instruction first. We're going to be basing this new image on the Ubuntu 15.04 base image. Then, I'll be the maintainer. We've got four run instructions and we've got a CMD instruction. Now we're about to build an image from this Docker file. How many image layers do you think this Docker file is going to add to the five layers of the base Ubuntu 15.04 image that we're going to be basing it on? Have a think about that for a second and maybe pause the video here and try to work it out. I mean we'll come back and check after we're done, but I reckon it's a good exercise for you to test yourself without potentially embarrassing yourself in front of anyone. These video courses are awesome aren't they? When I ask you questions like this, you don't have to worry about embarrassing yourself in front of an entire class. Can't argue with that. Anyway, let's go and find out. Let's do a docker build. Now I know we're on a clean system now, so I could have gone with build1 as the tag. But it's just a tag, right? Just metadata. It makes no difference to what we're doing here. Anyway, as we can see, as we've cleaned the system up since our previous demo, there's no build cache this time. So let me give you a bit more of your life back here by compressing space time again. And I promise, Scout's honour, there's no health side effects to me doing this. And here we are. So let's first go docker info. Aha! Now we've got a total of 11 images or layers. Which I make is an increase of 6 over and above the 5 in the Ubuntu base image. So, did you get the right answer? No matter if you didn't, we'll walk through it in just a sec. But first, a docker images tree, just to verify. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep, verified. Right, let's look at how or why it added 6 layers. So we'll stick a copy of our docker file up here. And let's do this. And we'll give it the ID of the image we just created. Right, now Docker history lists events, so to speak, in reverse order when compared to the Docker images tree command. And also, in reverse order to the way that we read our Docker file. But we can still easily marry things up. So here are our changes that we've made. Each one, remember, adding a new image layer. So that's our six layers and the six commands that created those layers. So, maintainer, Nigel Poulton at hotmail.com, that created a layer. That's a bit rubbish, yeah? Though, it's only tiny, right? But it's still a layer. Then we've got one, two, four apt gets. And finally, we've got our CMD instruction, our echo hello world. So, six Dockerfile instructions created six image layers. Now we can definitely do things to reduce the number of layers our Dockerfile creates. And we're going to cover some of these very shortly in this module. But for now, it's important that we understand that most instructions we issue in our Docker file result in a new image layer being created. It's important we understand that, both for the rest of this module as well as in the real world. Great, time to move on. Coming up next, we're going to increase our Docker file instruction vocabulary by learning a bunch more instructions.